Rainy Bites, a daily dose for self-improvement. Hey there, wonderful souls. Have you ever found yourself yearning for a deeper connection with your truest self? Wondering what might be holding you back from reaching your higher self? Well, you're in the right place because today, we're exploring the five crucial things you absolutely must let go of to embark on that transformative journey. But before we dive in, let me ask you a few thought-provoking questions. How often do you catch yourself drowning in negative thoughts about who you are and what you can achieve? Have you ever felt weighed down by the ghosts of resentment from your past, preventing you from moving forward? And how about the fear of failure, does it ever keep you up at night, paralyzing you from taking that next step? If any of these resonate with you, stick around because we're about to unravel the secrets to shedding these burdens and soaring towards your higher self. So, grab a comfy seat, maybe a cup of tea, and let's explore the transformative journey of letting go to embrace the best version of yourself. Welcome to 5 Things You Must Let Go Of To Reach Your Higher Self. Let's get started. Now, let's dive into our first point, negative self-talk. Imagine you have a little friend inside your head, always saying things like, I can't do this or I'm not good enough. That little friend is called negative self-talk, and trust me, it can be a real troublemaker when it comes to personal growth. Negative self-talk can be like heavy clouds blocking the sunshine of your potential. It makes you doubt yourself and your abilities. But here's the good news, we have the power to chase those clouds away. So, what are some common things this little friend might say? Maybe it tells you that you're not as smart as your friends or that you'll never be good at something. These are just examples of negative self-talk, and we're here to kick those thoughts to the curb. Now, let's talk about some superhero moves to tackle negative self-talk. First up, we have affirmations. These are like magical spells that you can say to yourself every day. Imagine looking in the mirror and saying, I am brave, I am strong, and I can do anything. How cool is that? Another powerful move is mindfulness. It's like having a special shield that protects you from those negative thoughts. Mindfulness is all about staying present in the moment and not letting those tricky thoughts from the past or future bother you. So, to sum it up, negative self-talk can be a sneaky troublemaker, but with affirmations and mindfulness, you've got the tools to show it who's boss. Stay tuned because we've got four more amazing things to explore on our journey to your higher self. Let's keep the positive vibes rolling. Alright, friends, let's move on to our second point, past resentments and grudges. Imagine carrying around a heavy backpack filled with rocks from your past. Those rocks? They're the resentments and grudges we hold on to, and they can weigh us down in ways we might not even realize. Holding on to past resentments is like dragging around those rocks, making it hard to walk towards a brighter future. It can be tough, I get it. But guess what? By letting go of those heavy rocks, we can move forward with much more ease. Think about it, have you ever felt angry or upset about something that happened a long time ago? It's like holding onto a hot coal and hoping it will burn the person who hurt you, but in the end, it only burns you. Resentment can keep us stuck in the past, preventing us from growing into the amazing people we're meant to be. So, how can we drop those heavy rocks and move on? Well, here come the superhero moves. First up, forgiveness exercises, it's like giving yourself the power to let go of that hot coal. Forgiveness isn't about saying what happened was okay, but it's about freeing yourself from the pain. Another awesome move is journaling. It's like having a friend you can tell everything to. Write down your feelings and let them out on paper. It's a great way to understand why you're holding onto those rocks and how you can start putting them down. Remember, letting go of past resentments is like taking off a heavy backpack. With forgiveness exercises and journaling, you're well on your way to feeling lighter and ready for the next exciting chapter on your journey to your higher self. Stay tuned for more tips, we're just getting started. Okay, explorers, let's venture into our third point, fear of failure. Now, imagine you're about to take a big leap, like jumping across a stream to reach a treasure on the other side. But, oh no! What if you slip and fall? That worry, that doubt, that's what we call the fear of failure. Fear of failure is like having a tiny voice in your head saying, what if I mess up, or what if I'm not good enough? 
But here's the secret, everyone feels a little scared sometimes, even grown-ups. It's normal, and it's okay. Now, let's talk about some signs that you might be dealing with the fear of failure. Maybe you avoid trying new things because you're scared you'll make a mistake. Or perhaps you get super anxious before tests or trying something new. These are common signs of our tricky friend, the fear of failure. But guess what? We've got some superhero moves to conquer this fear. First up, we have embracing failure as a learning opportunity. Imagine making a mistake as a treasure map, it might lead you to an even better treasure. When you see failure as a chance to learn and grow, it becomes less scary. Another cool move is setting realistic goals. It's like breaking down that big leap into smaller, manageable steps. Instead of trying to jump across the entire stream at once, you can take it one step at a time, making the journey less overwhelming. So, adventurers, the fear of failure might be that little voice in your head, but with embracing failure and setting realistic goals, you're equipped to tackle it head on. Get ready to cross that stream and discover the treasures waiting for you on your path to your higher self. Stick around, we've got more wisdom coming your way. All right, curious minds, let's unravel our fourth point, attachment to outcomes. Picture this, you're playing a board game, and winning is the only thing on your mind. What if I told you that being too fixated on winning can actually take away the joy of playing? That's what we call attachment to outcomes, and it's a bit like putting all your happiness eggs in one winning basket. Being overly attached to specific outcomes can cast a shadow on your journey. It's like trying to control every twist and turn of a roller coaster, instead of enjoying the ride. The truth is, life is full of surprises, and sometimes the best adventures happen when we least expect them. So, how does this attachment thing create stress and slow down our growth? Well, imagine you have a super important school project. If you're only focused on getting an A+, you might stress out so much that it's hard to enjoy the process of learning and creating. Let me share a secret, we've got some awesome techniques to help you let go of that tight grip on outcomes. First up, we have mindfulness and living in the present moment. It's like having a special pair of glasses that helps you see and appreciate everything happening right now. When you're mindful, you savor each moment without worrying too much about what comes next. Another cool move is setting intentions rather than rigid goals. Instead of saying, I must win this game, you can set an intention like, I'm going to have fun and do my best. It's like giving yourself the freedom to enjoy the game without the pressure of a specific outcome. So, adventurers, loosen that grip, embrace the unexpected, and enjoy the journey. With mindfulness and setting intentions, you'll find that the path to your higher self is full of delightful surprises. Stick around, we're not done discovering yet. Now, fantastic explorers, let's navigate through our fifth point, toxic relationships. Imagine having a friend who always makes you feel sad or scared, like a stormy cloud hovering over your sunny day. That's what we call a toxic relationship, and just like a storm, it can really block the sunshine of your personal growth. Toxic relationships can be like weeds in your beautiful garden. They might stop your flowers, your dreams and happiness, from growing tall and strong. It's important to recognize these toxic connections so you can make room for positive and uplifting ones. So, how can you tell if a relationship is toxic? Look out for signs like feeling drained or unhappy after spending time with someone. If a friend is always putting you down or making you feel less than amazing, that's a red flag. Now, here come the superhero moves to clear your garden of those pesky weeds. First up, we have setting boundaries. Think of boundaries like a magical fence around your garden, it keeps out the weeds but lets in the sunshine. Setting boundaries means telling your friends what's okay and not okay and it helps create a positive space for everyone. And guess what? You don't have to do this alone. Our next awesome move is seeking support from healthy relationships. Imagine surrounding yourself with friends who lift you up like a bunch of colorful balloons. Seeking support means connecting with people who make you feel happy, supported, and encourage you to be your best self. So, adventurers, it's time to wave goodbye to those stormy clouds and make room for sunshine in your relationships. With setting boundaries and seeking support, 
you're on your way to building a garden full of beautiful, positive connections. Stay tuned, we've got more wisdom coming your way as we continue our journey to your higher self. And there you have it, amazing friends. We've uncovered the secrets to reaching your higher self by letting go of some things that might be holding you back. Quick recap, we talked about saying goodbye to negative self-talk, letting go of past resentments and grudges, conquering the fear of failure, releasing attachment to outcomes, and clearing out toxic relationships. Now, I want to leave you with this, you are incredible just as you are, and the journey to your higher self is a magnificent adventure. So, take those superhero moves we've explored today, and let them be your guide. But hey, our journey doesn't end here. I'd love to hear about your adventures and discoveries. Share your thoughts, experiences, or any questions you might have in the comments below. A huge thank you for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed the journey, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep shining bright, and remember, you've got the power to become the amazing person you're meant to be. Take care, explorer.